Okay, this is a 1970-4020. It's got 7,100 and some odd hours on it. I'm the third owner of it. And uh, the only thing I've really ever done to it is, is uh, clutches, a couple of clutches in it. Uh, never had any trouble with the transmission or hydraulics or anything. And put this driver on it in probably in the 90s. And then we put a post puller on the back of it about that same time. Them tires were on the back, original tires when I bought it in 86. They aren't totally wore out yet. So you, I do have duels for it, but uh, I don't, don't use them for farm work anymore. Other than if you get on a steep side hill, you might need duels. I bought it at an auction that, that uh, some people had to get rid of it. So, and, and I was told, go, go get that tractor. And, so when I got down there, they had taken some stuff off it and I didn't identify it. And then when I got down there, he said, it's gotta be down there. And it got a ding in the hood. And I goes, yeah. He said, it's got a narrow front. And he said, no, it had a wide front. Well, they took the wide front off and they took the three point inch arms off to make more money. So anyhow, I bought it at that time. So, you know, they didn't recognize it because he said a wide front 70, 40, 20. About none of it's original on it. Like, like this here part, I added that, that on it because you want to pound over a fence without taking the fence apart. I mean, it comes with that little one and I put that big one on so you can reach over a post and pound them. You don't have to go on the outside to pound. These 4020s are not set up to run a lot of hydraulics, so what I did was run a pump off that PTO underneath the tractor. There's a hydraulic pump underneath there because the tractor itself will not run that, won't run that driver. Steering a little bit better and the shift a little easier and the seat's a whole lot better. I'm a John Deere guy. <laughs>